I am Saud and in this video we will see three basic 2D transformations. We will see translation, rotation and scaling. First we will see translation. So let's say this is my axis. And I have a point over here whose coordinate positions are X and Y. And let's assume that I want to translate this point to a new position. X dash comma Y dash. So this is X, this is Y, this will be X dash and this will be Y dash. I obtain the new location X dash comma Y dash by adding this distance to X and this distance to the old Y. We'll call this distance as Tx and let's say this distance is Ty. This is Tx. So we translated x comma y to x dash comma y dash by adding Tx to x and Ty to y. We'll write the equations. Our new x dash is the old x plus the translation factor for x that is Tx and our uh, new y that is y dash is our old y plus the translation factor for y that is ty in matrix form it will be something like this our matrix for the new coordinates x dash y dash is equal to the matrix for the old coordinate that is x and y plus the matrix with the translation factors Tx and Ty. So this was translation. We translated x comma y to x dash comma y dash. Next we'll see rotation. Before we see rotation we'll see a basic concept of trigonometry. Let's say this is uh, a right angle triangle. Let this angle be phi and this angle is 90 degrees. The side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. Let its length be r. Sin phi is given by the side opposite to angle phi that is this side divided by the hypotenuse. Let's call the opposite side as O and the hypotenuse is R and cos phi is given by the side adjacent to angle phi that is this side we will call it A divided by R that is the hypotenuse so O can be written as O is equal to I will bring R over here so O is equal to R sin phi and A is A is equal to I get R over here it will be A is equal to R cos phi now imagine if this was the axis and this point over here was given by X comma Y so X that is this distance is r cos phi from here and y that is this distance which is the same as this distance is given by y is equal to r sin phi now we will see rotation let's say this is our axis and we have a point over here x comma y assume it is oriented at an angle of uh, let's say phi from the origin and the distance is r now we'll rotate this point by an angle of theta so this angle is theta and let the new coordinates be x dash 
comma y dash. Now we've seen that x is r cos phi and y is r sin phi. Similarly, x dash will be a whole angle is theta plus phi. So x dash will be r cos of theta plus phi and y dash will be r sin theta plus phi we can eliminate r from both these equations we'll simplify them so this will be r now cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so this will be r cos theta cos phi minus r sin theta sin phi and over here we'll have y dash is equal to r sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so this will be sin theta cos phi plus r cos theta sin phi now x is r cos phi so in place of r cos phi we shall write x so this will be x and then cos theta and in place of r sin phi we shall write y so this will be minus y sin theta this is our new x dash and over here we'll have in place of r cos phi we'll write x so this will be x sin theta I'm sorry for the messy handwriting I'm using a mouse and in place of uh, r sin phi we'll have y so this will be plus y cos theta and this is a new y dash in matrix form our equations will be x dash y dash is equal to the old xy multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix the first element is cos theta next we'll have sin theta in the second row we'll have sin theta and then uh, cos theta our x dash is x cos theta minus y sin theta so x dash is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta so over here we'll have a minus sign and our y dash is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta so y dash is x sin theta plus y cos theta so this was rotation in the anti-clockwise direction in case you are rotating in the clockwise direction by an angle of theta then this will change to phi minus theta it will be the same with this it will be phi minus theta and in the matrix you will have a minus sign before sin theta and you will have a positive sign over here in place of the uh, sin theta in the second row this was rotation next we shall see scaling let this be the axis in scaling we alter the size of the object so if this is a square and if you want to square twice the size something like this then we'll multiply the x and y coordinate of every single vertex of the square by 2 so if this point is uh, let's say x comma y then this point over here shall be 2x comma 2y so in scaling a new coordinate is the old coordinate multiplied by a scaling factor let's say sx in case of x 
and uh, let's say uh, sy in case of y so y dash is equal to y into sy if sx and sy are equal to 1 then the original size of the object is retained if sx and sy are equal to each other then it is called uniform scaling as we have seen over here if sx and sy are greater than 1 then the object is enlarged if they are less than 1 then the object is reduced in size it will uh, go closer to the origin we can try different combinations of sx and sy if sx is uh, let's say 1 or if sx is let's say 2 and sy is let's say 1 then we can have the square into a uh, rectangle something like this the matrix equation will be something like this x dash y dash is equal to the old x and y multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix sx 0 0 and sy so x dash is x times sx plus y times 0 and y dash will be equal to x times 0 plus y times sy that is y sy i hope this video helps you thank you very much for listening